Zapier just came out with this new component called Lead Score. And I'm going to do a quick video and show you how you can use this to enrich your Zaps. In this case, I'm going to take a subscriber where I only have the email address in Drip. I'm going to enrich it using the Zapier Lead Score and then integrate that and put that into HubSpot. Uh, so stay tuned. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss. I'm back in Zapier and I want to show you a new feature they just came out called Lead Score that you can use to enhance your Zaps to enrich your data. So if you haven't checked out our earlier video on Zapier, you know, look, please uh, click back and, and look at that on our YouTube channel or on our, our Facebook page. But I'm logged into my account. I'm still on my trial here. So you could do this even in a trial. I'm going to go ahead and search for that lead score by Zapier that they just came out with. And what this will actually allow you to do, if I go down here to see, it'll do a search. It'll look up a person to find any, you know, information or company data about that person so that you can enrich your data. So it's a great little tool and, and it's free. So I, I, I love that. So let's go and look at our Zaps. We, we have a Zap. What we built in our earlier video is a Zap that anytime we got a new subscriber in Drip, it was going to automatically add it to our CN, CRM. So all we have coming out of Zip is an email address. We don't really know anything about that person other than what we might have collected on the form. So when we're adding it to the CRM, wow, it sure would be nice to go out there and collect as much other information as we can. So why not use that lead score feature from Zap? So I'm going to go ahead and edit this one. I could do a couple things. I could edit this and just add it directly. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy just so I'll show you that process. And we're going to make a copy of this and I'm going to edit this one. That'll keep that one working if we need to troubleshoot and fine tune and, and work on this one. So you'll see by doing that copy, I already have where I'm connected to my drip. Anytime there's a new subscriber, it's going to go ahead and create a update, a new HubSpot record. And, you know, all we're adding right now is just the email address that's coming from Drip. We're setting things like lead status, putting their name in, uh, and setting a HubSpot owner. Because we really don't know anything else about that particular user. So what I'm going to do is add in an extra step in between these two. This is where the multi-steps in Zap become really useful. I'm going to add in an action. And that action I'm going to add in is going to be that lead score by Zapier action. And this is a pretty simple action. It only has one thing you could do is just was just search, uh, find a person and company information. Go ahead and save that. And it's going to look for the email address from Zip. Now, we've got just the sample user in Drip right now that we were working with. Let me show you how we, we're going to get some more realistic data uh, to work with. I'm going to go over, first I want to come back up here where I've got my Drip test. You see here I can retest Drip. So I'm going to go add a new email address in my zip database, come back and retest so I can get that information. Okay, so I've got Zapier over here looking for a subscriber. I'm going to go ahead and add myself. And now Zapier should pick this up really quickly because when you add a subscriber, it is one of those instant things. Let's take a second and let Zapier go out there and discover that I was added into the database. Okay, so it says test successful. Let's actually click here and see if it uh, found me. And there I am. So it did find me from zip from adding it to the database. Perfect. So I've got the user ID that I want. I'm going to hit continue. So now I'm going to add in that lead score. Let's go ahead and redo that process. And now when I hit this icon here, instead of having that sample, it's going to actually pick a real person, in this case myself, so we can really get a good example of what enrichment data is going to look like. So I'm going to pick the email out of Drip, pump it into lead score here. Now, let's have it search my email address and let's see what it finds about me. I'm kind of curious about this myself. Test successful. Let's view what it found. Hey, look at this. Employee count is five. That's a little bit low. I actually have more employees than that, but I'm surprised it found something. Um, okay, that's all generic. Uh, number of tech found on website is 17. Not quite sure what that means. Company founding year is 2009. That's actually correct. 5,000 fish was founded in 2009. Uh, it's got some uh, very good segments. So it likes me, thinks I'm a good lead. 
which is nice. It's telling me it's not a personal email. It's false. So that's true. That's my work email. I'm not a student. I'm not spam. So it's giving me some good feedback there. Uh, my company is in the inter internet software and services. That's correct. The employee is a little bit low, but it's not too far. We got 10. So, I mean, it's, it, you know, how's it going to know the difference between 5 and 10? Based in Nevada. That's correct. You know, I do speak English. Um, domain, name, person. So this is pretty good. I mean, for free, this is giving me some pretty good enrichment. But look at this. I didn't, I didn't even pay attention to this. It got my first and last name right because yeah, I only put the email address in there. So you got to believe not every email address is going to give you accurate data or find anything out there. But all in all, this is not bad. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this information. So now what I can do with this, if I go ahead and continue, now I can go back and edit my template on all my HubSpot stuff. And you'll see that something like before I was using the name out of drip and I really didn't have a good first name, last name separation. I could actually now, let's go ahead and take that out. When I hit this, I'm going to have the choice to pull that name information out of drip or from the lookup that Zapier did. And you'll see now I have a property first name coming out of here that I can use that actually is going to be more accurate than what I was initially getting in in, uh, in drip. In fact, I wasn't even getting last name. Now, now, of course, I could go and set all that up in drip. So this is not a perfect example. But, but but you get the point here. I could go through, if I wanted to have some segmentation on city, I saw where it was actually able to find my company's state and city. So I could bring that in, which is nice. In fact, not city, but actually state. So I would go down here to state, and I could apply that. So you get the, you get the gist of the idea here. I could even build some custom properties in HubSpot to capture some of this information if I wanted to. Country, I think that was listed the company, the country in there somewhere. There it is, US. So there's all sorts of things I can enrich my data uh, by using this process beyond what I knew. Before I just knew an email address, now I'm knowing a little bit more about it. Let's go ahead and um, finish this. Turn my zap on, and if I do that, if I turn on this new zap, which is the copy, what I probably want to do is go to my dashboard and turn that old one off. And I probably want to rename this one and take that word copy out of it. So, hope you found this instructive and you saw maybe some use cases for that new lead score from Zapia, and you got some ideas for some multi step zaps in your environment. If you like this, Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Head out to our Facebook page. We always put new videos out there. And if you're interested in more, uh, you know, a class on how to do more powerful things in Zapier, head out to techsmartboss.com slash Zapier and sign up to the interest list. And I'll keep you informed if we do decide to come out with, with more videos like this and, and, and do an actual course around it. So thanks for watching.